trick or treat. So just because you want to have a sustainable and ethical Halloween does not mean you have to miss out on those delicious Halloween treats. In this video, I'm going to share with you some alternatives and recipes on how to have a sustainable and vegan Halloween candy. My name is Manuela and I am the Girl Gone Green. I'm here to spread sustainability and conscious living. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button to get notified when I upload a new video. So one of the coolest ways to get candy is to buy them from the bulk bins, not only of your local grocery store, but actually of candy shops. I know you've been to those stores that have just containers full of candy and you can actually bring your own bag and fill them up with as many goodies that as you want for your party or for your children. However, most traditional door-to-door -door Halloween um, trick-or-treaters will not accept any homemade goods. Now I know a lot of neighborhoods have banned this just because of safety reasons which is totally understandable. So my alternative to trick-or-treaters is to buy a big bag with individually cardboard boxed candy. So things like Nerds and um, Milk Juds and Dots and all the things that come in those types of containers. And maybe put up a sign in front of your door um, encouraging people to recycle the box when they're done. And it's not only a great treat, but it's also a great way to educate our young on how to be more sustainable. So that's just an alternative. It's not zero waste in any which way, but it is a way to kind of minimize how much trash you produce. And I do know that the spooky nerds are vegan. Now I love chocolate and being zero waste and vegan sometimes makes me miss some of those childhood favorites. So in this video, I went ahead and recreated some of those. Um, I made Reese's peanut butter cups and Snickers. The Snickers recipe is actually from Olga here on YouTube from Fab Lunch. I will link her exact recipe down below. I did my own thing um, and I altered it a bit, but her recipe is amazing, so I highly recommend checking it out. Um, as well as I'll leave any other information in the description. You're first going to need some sort of either cupcake tin or baking cups. Now these are compostable baking cups that I'm going to be using just because I don't have a, a muffin tin. Um, that's the minimalist in me. So I'm just using those and then I'm going to create a double broiler. So I'm going to add some water and then put a glass bowl over this. So you let the water come to a boil, add in some dark chocolate chips that are vegan from the bulk bin store and then just stir until it's all nice and smooth. So once you have your chocolate melted, you're going to add about a teaspoon of chocolate to the bottom of the cupcake tin. Then you're going to put it in the fridge so that it sets. Once your cupcakes have set, you're going to add in a probably a teaspoon of peanut butter into each cup just in the center. You don't need to spread it out. And then you're just gonna cover it up with more chocolate. So about two teaspoons of chocolate, I think, went into this. These things are literally so good. They don't, they look a little messy, but once you take them out of the tins, they are amazing. Moving on to the Snickers bar, you're going to need half a cup of almond butter, just smooth almond butter. Then you're going to add a tablespoon of coconut flour and then two tablespoons of maple syrup. Then you're just going to stir that together and it kind of becomes a dough-like consistency which you're then gonna lay out. I laid it out on a parchment paper once again because I do not have all these fancy tins and none of my tins fit in my freezer. So we're using parchment paper. This is a compostable brand as well. And then we're just rolling it out to a pretty thin layer. Then you're gonna get some dates. I used about eight dates and I added some hot water so that they get very smooth when you blend them. So you wanna take out the pit and then blend them together with the vanilla, coconut oil, salt, and a little bit of water so it becomes a bit of a caramel consistency. This thing is so good. I wanted to eat it out of the cup just like candy. <laughs> and then you're gonna add that on top of your set dough. So I put that dough um, to set in the freezer and then I added the caramel. I added the peanuts 
and then you're gonna let this whole thing set in the free freezer um, for a couple hours just so that it's easy to work with. Once everything was set, I went ahead and just chopped it up into slices and then drizzled it with dark chocolate. Now, Olga from Fab Lunch dipped hers in a cacao um, chocolate mix, which was amazing, but I just decided to drizzle it just because it was my preference. I hope this video helped you and I hope it inspired you to get a little bit more spirited and try out some of these recipes for the Halloween. And for now, don't forget to live sustainably and consciously, and I will see you in my next video.